Hi folks and welcome back to We Are All Cavemen. Today we're going to talk about a hotly debated subject which is the scarcity of silver. Yeah, it's easy to look up from the US Geological Survey how much silver has been found, which includes how much has been mined and how much we have in world reserves. The debate tends to be more about the use of silver and how much of it has been used up. So what we do know at today's rate, we're in the neighborhood of 40 to 50% of silver is used in a manufacturing process of some sort. It's going in to different technologies, computers, cell phones, solar panels, different things. Once it's in these things, is it lost forever? Yes, there'll be a certain amount of recycling, but is it really going back into the supply of silver? I'm not here to answer that question. But I am here to give you a better understanding of the scarcity of silver as it relates to the general population and the impacts of some of these other things on its scarcity. Let's get down to the bare bones of this issue. So we know right now that the world population is right around 8 billion people. Um, depending on the source you look at, it's it's just under, it's just over, but we'll just say 8 billion for round numbers. And then we also know that the U.S. Geological Survey is telling us that there's 1,740,000 metric tons of silver that has been discovered to date. So that's what's been mined and what we have in reserves. We also know that a metric ton, when it comes to these precious metals, is 32,150 ounces. So that would put the silver that we have discovered, so at 32,150 ounces per metric ton, that would put the silver supply roughly 56 billion ounces of silver that has been discovered. Now, we're not going to count what's been used up or what's been lost because that's a hard number to calculate. But at 56 billion ounces and a global population of 8 billion people, if you were to equally distribute all the silver ever found and all of the silver that we have in reserves, mined it and distributed it equally, it would give every man, woman, and child on the planet 6.99 ounces of silver, so we'll just say 7 ounces of silver. Now, one of the things I wanted to help you wrap your head around is what if you wanted to be in the top 1% of potential silver holders in the world? How would you figure out what that number is? Well, it's fairly easy. What you would do is you would take the total potential silver supply everything found, the 56 billion ounces of silver, and you would divide it by 1% of the global population, which would be 80 million people. Now, these numbers just happen to line up this way, and what that number is, is to be in the top 1% globally of potential silver owners, you would need to own 699 ounces of silver to be in the top 1%, and no one could kick you out of that club if you held that much. And so if you wanted to be one of the top 1% of the global population that benefited from silver, that's how you would do it. Now let's look at the distribution of the uses of silver, because this comes into play when we're trying to figure out how much silver is around, because scarcity is about availability. So this is from the Silver Institute, and it's saying the, and this was about four years ago, the industrial uses of silver in a year was 47%, jewelry was 18%, net physical investment 17%, that would be the bullion, the stacking, so that's a very small percentage. Um, you have silverware, solar, and even photography, and I'm sure there's some miscellaneous you know, mixed in with these uh, some gray areas. So actual phil physical silver bullion that people are buying and selling may only be 17% of this availability of silver, which would make 
the one percent far smaller than these numbers but we're talking one percent top one percent would be of all owners and uses of silver whether industrial manufacturing silver bullion silver coins um, and to have your fair share globally would be to own seven ounces of silver so that comes down and helps us you know understand the scarcity in general now this is an interesting cherry on top so when we look at the gold silver ratio and to to understand the gold silver ratio this is how many ounces of silver it would take to buy one ounce of gold so today and this is a wild number it takes 86 ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold but what makes this such an interesting fact and people have argued this point a lot is there's actually only seven ounces of silver that have been discovered for every one ounce of gold so the relationship of scarcity is only seven to one but to buy an ounce of gold is 86 to one and this changes constantly but even going back to 2013 a 10-year chart it was still 61 ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold and it hit a peak during 2020 it took 112 ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold but it should if the if the market was efficient it would actually only take seven ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold if that's the true scarcity relationship there's seven ounces of silver that have been found in the world to every one ounce of gold that's been found so the price relationship doesn't line up with the scarcity relationship the price relationship is based on supply and demand and all of these other factors people contemplate that you know governments try to keep the price of silver artificially low so it can be more easily used in manufacturing i don't know if this is true um, it's an interesting argument maybe we'll do a video on that um, but the true scarcity is seven to one relationship with gold the gold to silver ratio purchasing disparity is 86 to one right now which is mind-boggling and then you go down to back to the scarcity if everything was converted all the silver in the world ever found and ever going to be mined was turned into one ounce rounds and then distributed to the eight billion people on the planet everyone would get seven but we know that that isn't possible because how much silver has ended up in technology in devices been lost been destroyed and how much of it is still in the ground so these numbers are overestimations of what you would need to have your fair share and if you had your seven ounces realistically you would have more than your fair share if you had 699 ounces you would be well into that top one percent and if you like this video give us a comment tell 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 us what you think of the scarcity um, in your dealings how hard is it to find silver how hard is it to buy and sell um, how available is it in in your opinion um, do you think it's being manipulated let us know give us a thumbs up um, subscribe to our channel we'll bring you more great content like this and have a great day